Okay, so today we're going to try and do the energy in a cell cycles of matter um, lab. So what we're going to do is, um, there's a couple ways you can find it. You can go to the content, which is how we found the last lab in the walkthrough. So I want to show you another way to um, get to the lab. So if you scroll down, um, your class hasn't started yet. That's why you're seeing these old news announcements. But if you scroll down into the user link section, um, you'll see these this section for course resource newsletters and I only have a couple in here right now because like I said your course hasn't started yet but um, you can click on the one for that unit so let's do science matter energy and systems and it's going to take you here and this is going to have um, useful information for all the labs so you can see the information for the um, carbon virtual lab you can see that um, if a student asks a question um, I put the question and the answer here that way um, everybody gets the benefit of those questions and answers and then um, you can see this lab energy in a cell here so um, let's go ahead um, it tells you that you can find it on page eight of the module but it also has the link to the handout so here we go um, we've got it here so let's see what it says um, I haven't done this at all so I'm just kind of you know doing it on the fly just like you guys um, would be doing so let's see what it says um, you're going to complete a virtual lab on photosynthesis and cellular respiration, and then you'll do a lab to demonstrate photosynthesis, how it connects to the carbon and oxygen cycles. After you've completed it, you'll put it in the Dropbox. Okay, so let's see part one, energy in a cell virtual lab. It says you review the order and processes that make up photosynthesis. You guys can read just as well as I can. Okay, and then it says begin by going to the energy in a cell virtual lab as provided in the sidebar. So... You can go to page eight of the module and that will have it, or um, I actually have it right here linked for you. Um, everything you need is right here in this section. So let's click this. Um, let's enable the Adobe Flash Player. I have a Mac, so that's why it does that. Um, and then let's go back to it, let's see. It says, order the nine tiles in the correct manner based on the reactants and products of photosynthesis and cellular respiration. Once your sequence is correct, record the correct order in the notebook. Okay. So let's see, um, so it says review the cell, uh, photosynthesis and cellular respiration guide to review the steps in the process. Pay attention to the elements that go um, into the inputs and the outputs, okay. And the outputs from one process are the inputs for the next. Okay, so let's see, um, let's open this up. It says that uh, photosynthesis and acceleration are uh, complementary. Wow, that's loud. Um, and then it says the photosynthesis formula is energy plus carbon dioxide plus hydrogen. So let's try that. Let's do um, ATP is energy. So let's do that. Um, Um, like I said, I'm not really sure how this works. Um, then we have um, glucose and oxygen. So let me put that here. Okay, it's like one of those little puzzle things. Okay, so there we go. Um, let's see what happens when we hit check. Okay. Oh. Again, let's see what we've got. Um, yeah, carbon dioxide, oxygen, energy, that'll be that. And then let's see what's next. Okay, here we go.
Okay, so we've got light energy, then we've got chlorophyll, and then we've got these energized electrons. And then it looks like we go to the Calvin cycle. Okay, would keep us on the page we're already at, you know? Um, okay, the Calvin cycle uses ATP and NADPH to form glucose and oxygen. Okay, so Calvin cycle might actually be next. Oh my gosh. You've got to be kidding me. I wonder if it'll tell you. Okay, let's see what's next. Okay. Glycolysis is first. Okay, then the Krebs cycle. Pyruvic acid are produced during glycol. So we need to find out where that ATP, H, ATP and NADPH goes after the light reaction. glucose. And then we'll have glycolysis next. Let's see if we can maybe just skip that spot. Be nice if you could move this book. Um, so glycolysis produces pyruvic acid, and then we'll have the Krebs cycle. Um, and I would take a screenshot of this. Um, that way you can submit it in, in your lab report. Okay, phew, we did that. Okay, now we're going to go to the journal, as indicated by the red arrow. So there's a journal. Um, and we are going to answer the six questions. So I'm going to let you guys answer these questions. Um, obviously, you're not going to want to answer these questions um, in your... Um, you're not going to want to answer these questions in here, right? Um, unless you, like, print it. Um, but you would answer them in your lab report. So you can either do a couple of things. You can like copy and paste. So you can like copy this and then paste the question into your lab report. Or you can answer them here. Um, I'm just like making up stuff. Obviously. Um, and then you can hit print. Okay, don't hit print. Um, don't email this to me. If you email it to me, I can't 
get it. I can't do anything with it. So don't do that. Um, yeah, so I would copy and paste them into your lab report. What I'll do after this is I'll put the questions. Um, I'll put your six questions here so you don't have to worry about that because that's annoying. Um, next. Okay, next. This is um, going to actually be a lab that you guys will do at your house. So obviously I can't like walk you through it, but we'll, we'll – um, Kind of go through it. So a, a lot of the labs, um, they'll either send you the stuff that you need um, through the course with that like box of stuff that you get, or you'll it'll use like basic like household things, you know, like clear plastic cups or baking soda, that kind of stuff. So um, I don't even know what's in your box of things that you guys get. Um, they never tell us, but um, they've never told us. I guess it's it's not a secret. They just don't tell us. Um, so, but hopefully some of this is in your box if it's not, you know, then, um, and then you'll just follow this and then you'll want to make sure you have your, um, lab report, right? Um, so if you go back to the course, um, you can go into the Dropbox section and, um, um, because it's not going to show, um, you actually have like a rubric right here that is related to it. So if you look at it, um, it shows, you know, all the parts of your, you know, what you get points for and what you don't. Um, and so it should help you um, submit your lab report the way you want. Um, also make sure you check out the, um, the synchronous session recording for, um, for like how to do a lab report, um, which will be like one of our first sessions. So, um, that one I'm going to do live. I'm not going to pre-record it like this. Um, so um, definitely check out that recording. Um, and I will also post the um, the presentation from that session. I'll post it here. So what you'll see is you'll see like course resource newsletters. Above that, you'll see like jigsaw recordings. And then under that, you'll see like jigsaw um, resources or whatever. And um, it'll be in that jigsaw resources. So um, hopefully this was helpful for you, um, with this lab. Um, I know this part was kind of annoying. I may shorten it a little bit, um, with how I got all mixed up so you're not having to sit there and watch the whole thing. But anyway, hopefully this was helpful.